Greetings YouTubers, it's Karma here doing a quick recap of Season 3, Episode 3 of Greek called Endangered Species. I know I haven't done a couple of my other videos. I'm really backed up right now. I'm super busy. I'm going to try to get those up the next couple days um, with Dollhouse and Hannah Montana movie. We'll see. But this episode of Greek is mostly about Casey trying to get Cappy and Max to kind of cohabitate and kind of be friends. Um, Max is walking Casey away and Cappy says douche. <laughs> He's calling, you know, Max a douche. And which I guess is the key word in this movie, in this movie, in this uh, episode. And Max hears him from really far away. It's ridiculous, like, how far he can hear it. And so they're just not getting along. There's a lot of hostility between the two. And, um... Casey tries to get them to work it out, and they kind of just have to pretend to be friends, but she knows that that's what they're doing, but she says it's better to, like, tame it than to have it all crazy like it would be. Um, let's see. Rusty meets a girl and um, in his liberal arts class that he's taking with Dale and Calvin, and Calvin's roommate is a horn dog basically, and is having sex all the time, so Calvin can't sleep, and he goes to approach Evan about it, but Evan's busy. And um, they're all taking it together, and he meets this girl, and it's kind of going cool, and I'm happy for him because he hasn't met somebody since Jen K. And then he goes to the CBZ Capital Mixer, and that girl starts making out with Andy. Andy doesn't know that's the girl Rusty likes, but still, it's kind of like, poor Rusty, you know, every girl he tries to go out and something happens. Um, basically, yeah. I think what's going to happen is Calvin is going to end up moving in with uh, Dale and Rusty, so I'm pretty sure that's what's going to go on. Also, uh, at the end of the episode, Calvin goes and picks up Evan at a hotel where he's with the girl, and he says he thinks his car got stolen, and he doesn't really know what's going on. I wasn't sure if he was high or something, what was going on with him, but I think Evan's kind of losing control of his life, but I'm not really sympathetic for Evan. He's always kind of bugged me, and I'm not going to lie about it. He just, um... He always has, but I do think Franny is using him for the money, like asking him for the rent check. And I think he knows that, but maybe he's scared to be alone. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. So that was the episode in a quick recap. Basically, um, I still don't like Casey. Uh, Casey and Max are fine, but I always, I'm a big Casey Cappy fan. But also, um, the guy who plays Max is actually going to do Melrose Place. Um, the, the producers of Smallville, a couple of them, are leaving the show to go, um do a remake of Melrose Place, what with 90210 being so popular. And I guess he's going to leave to go do that, so I'm not sure how long that relationship's going to last. But, uh, yeah. All in all, I thought it kind of mixed it up this episode. Rusty was kind of on his own. Rusty got drunk. You know, he's kind of embracing more of this fraternity life. Um, Calvin and Evan kind of had a little bit of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, whatchamacallit. Casey was with Cappy talking for a long time. Cappy was with Max. They kind of mixed up the characters this week, so this week. So I thought that was pretty interesting. It was a good episode, easy to watch as always. But yeah, that's the recap in case you missed it. And like I said, I'm super, super backed up in my videos right now. Um, you know, I'm a freshman in college, uh, so it's it's kind of busy with what was going on, people coming over this weekend. I had family, so I will do my best to do the Dollhouse recap tomorrow. So look for that, please. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.